Today, I'm signing the law of the Chips and Science Act, a once-in-a-generation investment in America itself, a law that the American people can be proud of. It's crystal clear we need these semiconductors, not only for those Javelin missiles, but also for weapon systems of the future that are going to be even more reliant on advanced chips. Unfortunately, we produce zero percent of these advanced chips now, and China is trying to move away ahead of us and manufacture these sophisticated chips as well. It's no wonder the Chinese Communist Party actively lobbied U.S. business against this bill. The United States must lead the world in the production of these advanced chips. This law will do exactly that. Two other companies, Global Foundries and Qualcomm, announced yesterday a $4 billion partnership to produce chips in the U.S. that would otherwise have gone overseas. <coughs> Qualcomm is one of the world's largest buyers of chips. It's planning to increase its chip production by up to 50 percent over the next five years. These companies see what I see, that the future of the chip industry is going to be made in America. They're making decisions right now about where to invest and ramp up production for these semiconductors. Many are foreigners making investments, companies making deciding where in the world to go, and they've chosen <coughs> the United States of America. They look at China, Japan, South Korea, the European Union, all making historic investments of billions of dollars to attract the businesses to their countries to produce these chips. But these industry leaders also see America is back and leading the way.